I'm super stoked to be talking about hazing and what the fun, uh, the fun work we're doing at Haze Labs. But first, what the heck is haze? What is this funky term that you guys have probably never heard of or seen? Well, it's a term that you're probably going to see a lot more of in the future. And it's a term that we coined to define the act of rigorously testing an AI system to identify and prevent all failure modes. Now, why should you haze AI systems? Well, as it turns out, current AI applications are basically stochastic soups. They fail all the time, they're extremely brittle, and there's billions of corner cases. In the future, you'll see a lot more of hazing pre-deployment so that there's less failures in production. And we think that this core primitive of hazing will enable us to become the trust, safety, and reliability layer that all AI applications and systems sit on top of. Now, for the past few months, we focused exclusively on the safety testing issue, which has been and continues to be a blocker as AI systems are being productionized. In fact, current systems are so weak that it's just trivially possible for us to produce thousands and thousands of examples uh, that jailbreak any model and any modality in any setting, as you can see. Indeed, we can haze any model for anything. And here's an example of, sorry, Cohere, uh, me getting the Cohere chatbot to tell me somebody's full bank information. And here's Cohere's chatbot giving me that information. So I now have full access. Excellent. Cool. And all this fun work is done by the amazing R&D that we're doing internally. So we have now built out and continue to build out a best-in-class suite of testing algorithms, of inference time oversight mechanisms, and observability and monitoring tools. In the past few weeks alone, we have introduced an infinitely large adversarial class uh, of class of adversarial attacks, I should say. We have sped up uncertainty quantification methods by orders of magnitude, and we have been the first to automate multi-turn jailbreaks uh, with more than 50% better accuracy than competitors with human retaining. Now, besides this great R&D work, the commercial side of Hayes has also been not too shabby as of late. Uh, at this point, we are now vending to the very best in the industry, including OpenAI and Anthropic and AI21, and several other customers on the application layer as well. We also have a small bit of money, namely, we did a $12 million seed led by John Catalyst and joined by the best founders and executives in the industry. Now, all this is in service of building out an incredible team, we are aware and we acknowledge that we're extremely young and extremely green. I just graduated uh, three months ago. But we are extremely hungry, we're extremely intense, and we're absolutely here to win. We're not here to play games. <laughs> we are joined, luckily, by some adults in the room, including several PhDs and PhD dropouts, and the best world-class professors in AI, the best security executives in the industry, and the best policy experts. Now, if this resonates with you, whether it be the team, or the mission, or the great technical work, or simply the massive size of this market opportunity, we are absolutely hiring, in particular for members of technical staff on the engineering and research side, as well as business and policy. We're based in lovely FIDI here in Manhattan, and we truly think that this is some of the most important, impactful, and just plain interesting work that you could be doing with your career. In many senses, we see Hayes as the bridge between the model builders in SF, and all the great work being done in the rest of the world. And humanity deserves to use great AI. We think that we can directly influence how AI systems are responsibly and reliably used everywhere. Now, if this makes sense to you, you can find our job posting above and a Twitter page down below. Thank you guys very much for the time.